Welcome back. In this video, we're going to conclude our studies on ratio and proportion with three final concepts that involve proportion and working with triangles. The first one is called the side splitter. And the side splitter says that if a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides, it divides those sides proportionally. So here in our diagram, we have two triangles, triangle FAT, kind of the one on top, fat, and the entire big triangle, fun. So we have our fat, fun triangles here. And we're going to tell you that AT and UN are parallel. So we know that these two parallel lines are going to split the sides proportionally. In fact, we saw this earlier uh, in a previous chapter where we had the midline theorem where we connected the midpoints. Well, that is a special kind of proportion. It's dividing both in half. In this case, um, we're just splitting the sides proportionally. Actually, that midline theorem is a special case of this side splitter. This side splitter works any time the lines are parallel. Or the midline theorem, we had those two lines parallel, but they also cut the two sides in half. So it's going to divide these two sides proportionally. So we, we have, you know, that FA, the 12 is to the 8, as FT is to TN. So we'll have FA is to AU as FT is to TN. So 12 is to 8 as 15 is to TN. We can reduce 12 is to 8 by a factor of 4. So that gives us 3 is to 2 as 15 is to TN. And we know 3TN is 30. Divide by 3. And TN is 10. Now, finding UN is a little bit different. We can't use that same proportion. We can't use 12 is to 8 because the 8 is not the entire side of the triangle. We have to use our similar triangles to find UN. So this is going to be a little bit different. So that we have to use the entire side. We have to say like FA is to AT. So my left side is to the bottom. I'm working with that top triangle as UF is to UN. So 12 is to 14 as really UF is 12 plus 8. So as 20 is to UN. So we could reduce that to 6 is to 7 as 20 is to UN. And we get um, 140 equals 6 UN, and we divide by 6, and these are both divisible by 2, and we get 70 over 3 equals UN, which is, if you like mixed numbers, that's going to be 23 and 1 third. So, that's how we do that. So we're going to we're going to solve for UN differently than we would solve uh, using the side splitter. So the side splitter is the first part, but the second part, finding UN was not the side splitter. Second theorem, I call this the route 66 because it reminds me of roads, roads that run parallel, roads that run perpendicular and then also kind of that angle street. So I call this the Route 66. But it says if three or more parallel lines are intersected by two transversals, so I've got my four parallel lines here, 
and we have two transversals, FJ and my angle street, KP. The parallel lines divide the transversals proportionally. So from F all the way down to J, that's a total of 15 units. The 5 and the 2 and the 8 add all those together and we get 15, whereas from K to P is 24. So to find KM, if we wanted to find KM, well, we could do that, but we'd have to say that 5, so FG out of the whole thing, out of FJ, 5 out of the 15 is the same as KM is out of 24. Well, 5 out of 15 is 1 out of 3, as KM is to 24, and you can see that KM has to equal 8. 1 times 24 equals 3 times KM, or 8 is 1 third of 24. So we get KM is 8. Clearly, this is not drawn to scale, but we could do the same thing for MO. Right? 2 out of 15 equals how many MO out of 24? And we get 48 equals 15 MO. We divide by 15, and we get MO is 3 and, oops, that'd be 3 and 1. So that's 3 and 1 fifth. And then we could do subtraction to find OP. Or we could do the same type of thing. You know, 8 out of 15 is how many OP out of 24. So that's one way to, to solve that proportionally. There is a second way. And I'm going to show you that on this next slide. We said the 5 and the 2, that added up to 15. So this side is 24. But if we know that there's going to be a constant factor. So this FG is 5 parts, and GH is 2 parts, and HJ is 8 parts. So doesn't KM have to be 5 times something and 2 times something and 8 times something? Well, sure enough, we can say 5x plus 2x plus 8x equals 24, which is our 15x equals 24, and x is equal to 24 fifteenths. They're both divisible by 3. So, 8 fifths, so this is 5 times 8 fifths, so KM is 8, this is, MO is 2 times 8 fifths, or 16 fifths, which is 3 and 1 third, and this is 8 times 8 fifths or 64 fifths, so that is 12 and 4 fifths. I think I said that was 3 and 1 third, it's actually 3 and 1 fifth, and 12 and 4 fifths, so that makes up our entire side. So that is another way to do that. That's kind of a constant of proportionality here, is this 8 fifths. So that is the Route 66. Parallel lines divide these two KP and FJ proportionally. And the final one is the angle bisector theorem. The angle bisector theorem says if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, so we've got this triangle VRT and we've got VS is bisecting that because it's dividing it into two congruent angles. Then it divides the opposite side into segments that are proportional to the adjacent sides. 
okay? So the adjacent sides means next to, next to the angles, where RS and ST, these are the sides opposite of our bisected angles. So what this says is that the adjacent side and the opposite sides are proportional. So VR is to RS as VT is to ST. Or using the numbers that are given here, and the numbers are pretty easy, 8 is to 4 as 10 is to X. So 2 is to 1 as 10 is to X, and we can see 2X is 10, and X is 5. That was pretty easy to see. This is in the ratio of 2 to 1, so 8 is to 4 as 10 is to 5. So that totally makes sense. One thing to note here with the angle bisector theorem is that these two triangles are not necessarily similar triangles. They could be depending on what the big triangle is, but generally that's not going to be the case. So the angle bisector theorem just says we bisect the angle divides the opposite side in the same proportion as the adjacent side. So it divides those proportionally. So we'll get some more practice with the Route 66, the angle bisector theorem, and the side splitter theorem when I see you in class.